everybody. So I've showed you my interactive scrapbook pages. I've showed you how to put them with page protectors in a strap and hinge album, but I know not everyone uses those. So this will show you how to put them in a post bound or a three ring. To do so, we need to have said page protectors. I'm just gonna put this back so you can see. So this is the page protector that came with my three ring here. And you can see it just has like a quarter inch of space between this perforation. So you've got your holes, the space, which we will call the space, and then you've got your page protector. The We Are Memory Makers has a bigger space. It's a good half inch there. So this is gonna help me. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna cut it right before that second perforation so that we still have a page protector. And then we have the space with holes. So see, page protector, still good. Just doesn't have holes. So now I'm gonna take that. I have a one inch piece of um, 12, 12 by one inch piece of cardstock and a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it in the space. Make sure it's all lining up nicely. And then I already did one, so I'm going to use that to line up my holes. I will give you the exact measurements in the comments. But for this, I'm just going to go with it. So I know I want one right about there, and there, 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 and there. So now I'm going to take my crocodile, and I'm just going to punch out where those holes are, while keeping it all in line, kind of important there. A messy little thing, the crocodile. But God, oh, I love it. And last one. And for whatever reason, I don't know about yours, but my crocodile likes to leave this little mess every time when it cuts something plastic. So I just gotta snip those off. Okay. And now, I went out on Amazon and I got myself some silver brads that are supposed to be very good. We're going to find out now because I don't know about you, but back when I used to use, I'm sorry, not brads, eyelets. Back when I used to use eyelets, they would bend funny. They would do all sorts of silly cracking. So these are supposed to be really good. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, they are. Just got a little crack, but I like it. Okay, and we'll do the next one. So feel free to use any eyelets that suit your fancy. I just want silver because you know, the rings in the thing are silver. Matchy matchy. And we'll do the next one. I hate to say this out loud, but so far we haven't dropped any. We just have two more to go before that happens. One. Okay, and let's see what we get here. Oh, see, you're going to run away. There we go. Okay, so now I have my space and I have my holes. And now I'm going to attach it to my 12 by 12. So I'm just going to use my little tape runner here. It's my best friend. Yeah, I tried the knockoff glue. Oh dear lord, I had everything the next day separating on me. Oh, never will I again do that. So scotch 3M all the way. So now I'm just lining up 
making sure I'm getting it nice and straight. Put that be there. And I'm just putting it down. So now I've basically created something like I have in my shrimp and hinge. And now I'm going to take my pages that I need. So this is just an old one. It's just a single, just to give you an idea of what to do. So now I'm going to glue this to the cardstock. underneath here and it's just making it a little funny. Tape runner's having a little trouble catching. Don't do it on the glass. Lesson learned. Okay, I'm gonna just want more to make me happy. Oh, let's see, we got a gobber there. Okay, so now I'm going to put this on here, lining it up just so, because otherwise that would be very, very sad. It's a little off, but the good thing is I can cut it and make it work. If you catch it quick enough, it'll let you unglue. No, we're not gonna do that. Okay. So, now, I'm gonna do the other side. We'll fix that later. Lesson learned. Line it up from this side and the top and the bottom. This one will go on so nicely. Mm, look at that. Yay. So there's that. So I'm now going to take the original page protector that I had. That I cut the little piece off of it. And I am going to take that that over both of my little friends here. Try to bend it a little sometimes to get it in. There we go. And I don't want that flap to go in. go that far. So what I can do is I can cut this off here, but then eh, I'm not covering all of that area. Don't love it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little dot where this is, here and here. And I know I need to cut in about that far. Now, I am just going to snip there. There. And no, I'm not going to use my scissors for this part. I'm going to put you on the glass. Get you lining up nicely, kind of, sort of. Work. Oh, you know what? That's not good. We need to use something else. We need to get it over it. Yes. Nothing wants to behave. Alright, we're going to start it there and we'll finish it. Otherwise, now I'm going to line you up dot to dot. And we're just going to slice. Slicing, and then it should separate. Beautiful. Now, go back over the front. Oops, helps if you come out of the uh, 
little mat there. Oh, of course you want to be difficult. They always want to be difficult. They never want to cooperate. They're like, no, play with me some more. And the other side. Same places. It always catches the same places. Okay. So there. I'm happy with that. That is now there to there. Now I can take and cut that end off because I don't need it. Make sure you don't cut your scrapbook page. That would be just atrocious. So you know what? I'm going to take it out just a little bit. Line it up. And give it a good slice. There, that's so much better. Okay, so now we're great, but this isn't covered. So I'm going to take that page protector that wasn't doing me any good here because he doesn't have enough space. And I know that I want to have an end here and here. So a little sharpie. You're going to have to do some cuts, basically. You just got to figure out where you want to cut the least. So I'm using the fold here. I'm using the fold there, meaning that, that there's no opening on those. So I know I'm going to cut here and here and here. And I'm giving myself a little space. Don't go right up to your, your page. Otherwise, you are going to be very sad. is only going to there. So now I get to cut. Or fuse, if you will. So I'm going to fuse with my little fusey tool here. And you want to make sure you're lining up on this glass. This glass is so great for that. And you actually make sure you're making a straight line, not relying on your little things that you made with dots. Now you just have to go very slowly with the We Are Fuse tool. And then this is creating a seal as I cut at the same time. It's just slow, but it's important. Otherwise, you're not gonna have a pretty, pretty page protector. You'll have a mess. Nobody wants a mess. So now we're just going through the joy of using the Fuse tool. The key is just to go nice and slow. So I'm there to there, and now I can cut. Let me just make sure it's gonna fit. And it has that nice little thing so you don't burn your table. So good. Okay, so now I'm just gonna see if I still line up nicely. And it looks like I do. So now I'm just gonna cut. I'm just going to messily cut that off. Little tail there. Okay. Let's 
see how we did. So this will just give you an idea. This is just one little page protector, but this is how I do it. Just so you get the whole other side covered if you can. And then you just create these little flaps so that your pages have nice little protectors. Oh, it's fabulous. Look at that. So that is how you do it. I hope that helps you. Um, if you have any other questions, please let me know. But that should do you really well. I'll show you in the book. Sorry, we got a lot of mess to move to make this work. No pages were hurt during this process. And you can see. nice and protected. I hope that helped you. Talk to you later. Bye.